Hi everyone. Today we're going to be drawing a very specific bird and um, the bird we're going to do is a red-bellied woodpecker and I just want to tell you a little bit of uh, why I chose this this bird. Um, of course it's spring and I've been looking out my kitchen window every day and I have a tree just outside my kitchen window and almost every day I've been seeing this bird and I just thought he was so cool looking. I love um, the black and white on his wings. I love the bright pop of red on his head and um, I'm not sure why he's called a red bellied woodpecker because I don't see any red on his belly. I only see it on his head. There is another bird called a red headed woodpecker, but it's not this guy. So um, I'm not really sure about that. I haven't done enough uh, research on that to tell you the answer. If you find the answer, maybe you can share it with me. But um, we're going to do this red headed, red bellied, sorry, I keep saying that red bellied woodpecker. Um, but first, I want to tell you a little bit about um, a famous artist, and this artist you might not have ever heard of before. Uh, his name was John James Audubon, and uh, maybe you've heard of him, maybe you haven't. Maybe you have heard of the National Audubon Society, and um, if you are, familiar with that, you know that it is an organization that is all about um, preserving and protecting and appreciating birds. And it's an organization that's been around for over a hundred years. And it's named after um, the, this artist that I'm telling you about today, John Audubon, John James Audubon. And so I'm gonna show you some pictures and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this artist. This is a portrait of John Audubon that another artist painted of him. He was actually born in 1785, so that was quite a long time ago. And uh, these are pictures of the book called Birds of America that was printed um, and it contains over 400 different illustrations that he did of birds. He, he traveled all over America and documented and um, did illustrations of over 400 different species of birds. Uh, here's his illustration of the red-bellied woodpecker. And here is some actual photographs of real red-bellied woodpeckers. Um, Again, I think they're just strikingly beautiful with the contrast of black and white and uh, the bright red color on its head. And this picture is the actual reference picture I used for my drawing. So um, if you wanna draw some other pictures of woodpeckers, you can use your own reference pictures, but this is the one we're gonna use for today's lesson. So here's my drawing of the red-bellied woodpecker. And I'm gonna show you how I got started. So this is the very basic shape that um, we're gonna start with, either an oval or a circle for his head. And just a very, very simple, almost like an oval here, but I'm gonna add a little triangle at the bottom shape for his body. His beak, if you noticed in the photos, is quite, quite long. And he's, he's on the tree trunk. He's uh, kind of perched vertically against the uh, tree trunk. Um, so we're just gonna have his leg come out like that. Now here's that same um, quick sketch but with a little bit more detail added. So I'm gonna take you along with me as I, as I do it. And again, uh, an oval or a circle for the head, then this very simple, almost like a, a big oval here, except for I'm gonna extend it into a tail feather. You might wanna put a line down the center like that. Um, 
we're gonna find the center of the head, come up a little bit and to the left, and that's where we're gonna put the, the eye. And the beak, we don't want it to um, just abruptly, like we, we don't want a sharp corner here where it attaches um, to our oval. We wanna kind of gradually curve it like this. So here we have our beak. And we want to smooth out these transitions too. So instead of having a corner right here like that, we want a, 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 just a slight curve, wavy line right here. Attaching the head to the body. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna draw just a curved line right here that shows a separation from where the feathers are. Here's her, his feathers and he, this is his, like his belly or his chest. So we're gonna separate that. Um, and then I'm gonna draw his little, this is kind of like a little cuff coming out of his body first and then his little leg and three little claws. Maybe actually one goes backwards like that. You could actually put a little oval here like that and then have his claws come out. There's a little bit of a, uh, a wider part of his foot here before the claws actually start. All right, and then I'm gonna show you where um, the red part of his head is so it's just going to be it's basically going to be like this a curved almost like um you know a, a candy cane shape or a shepherd a shepherd staff or something like that coming down but i'm going to make it kind of um uneven little some little lines there cuz it's going to be feathers of course and Gonna put some lines around his eyes like that. We want to extend his beak a little bit. So there's my basic, very very basic drawing. Uh, again, this is the reference picture I'm using. And um, you know what? I'm probably going to add before I start coloring and doing detail. Um, I'm going to add some more. Uh, dividing lines for where his feathers are. So I'm going to add another curved line right here. Um, maybe one right here and right here. Maybe another one right here. So I'm just showing that his feathers are layered, you know, on top of each other. So I'm just adding some, some curved lines like that, layered lines. Now, this project is actually mixed medium and hopefully you remember what that means. Uh, medium, the word medium in art doesn't just mean uh, size like small, medium, and large. It also is a word that is used for the materials that you're using to create your art. So um, this might look like just colored pencil but I actually use marker and colored pencil um, so we, you know, maybe consider that mixed medium. Um, you can also, I, I decided to leave this white in the background, but um, something I considered doing was using some chalk, like maybe some blue or gray chalk, and uh, using that to add a little subtle color in the background, but then I changed my mind and I, I kept it white. So just keep in mind that um, you're free to use different uh, types of medium. Uh, I probably wouldn't introduce paint into this because I'm just using regular drawing paper. Um, but if you wanted to add a little chalk or if you wanted to use a combination of, you know, shading with graphite pencil and color pencil and marker, um, you're free to, for you to do that. So anyway, let's get back to our red bellied woodpecker. 
So um, at this point, I am going to erase some of the pencil lines I don't need, like this one right here. And then I'm gonna start coloring. Now, the color pencils I'm using are these uh, Faber-Castell Gold Faber pencils, but you can use any color pencils you might have at home. Um, for the bright red on the top of his head, I'm gonna use a combination of orange and um, again, see in this picture, you can see some orange, you can see some really bright red, and then I see also some deeper shades of red. So I'm gonna use two different types of red and an orange. And I'm gonna shade shade in this, and I'm gonna layer, you know, some, some of these colors. So I'm just gonna to describe to you a little bit what I'm gonna do on each part and, and demonstrate it a little bit. But then I will put the video on fast motion and you can see me um, finish the bird in fast motion. You know what, I think I'm gonna bring, bring that in a little bit. Want, or, uh, bring it out a little bit is what I should have said um, so it doesn't come in so far on his head I'm going to use different amounts of pressure so like out here I might want to press a little harder with my pencil so I get a real vibrant bright color but as it comes closer to his the, the center of his face, I'm gonna press very lightly like that. You know, if you wanna add a little brightness to it, you can also take some yellow, like a golden yellow, and add some of that. We'll really brighten it up. Um, this is gonna be, for me, the, the funnest part. <laughs> um, so what I used is black Sharpie. And if you have another kind of black marker, if you have black Sharpie or any other kind of black marker, uh, if you don't have any black markers at home, you can certainly use colored pencil. But let me show you how I did um, the, the really cool black and white stripes on his wings. So basically we have some stripes happening here and they're like um, curved stripes. So like up here, they're kind of curved like this. Okay, so that's just gonna get you started. And then, and I'm using a regular fine tip marker. Then I went back over them and I just kind of went up and down with my marker like this. And once I did that, I won't finish it all right now. I'll do that when I fast motion the video, but let me pause here and show you the next step. So the next step is I took an extra or ultra, ultra fine tip Sharpie, or if you have micron pens at home, those would work great. So see how delicate and uh, small that point is. So then I went back and I added some little delicate lines above and below each stripe. And if you wanna actually outline the whole bird with like one of these delicate markers, like a micron pen, that would be a good idea too. I, w I don't think I would not outline it with this fine tip because it's gonna to be too thick of a line and it'll make it look more um, cartoony. 
So if you wanna keep it a little bit more natural looking, either don't outline it or outline it with um, colored pencil or just outline it with one of these ultra fine tip markers. So um, I'm gonna continue working on the wing here um, and I'll put it on fast motion. But before I do, let me just real quick show you what I'm gonna do down here. As the feathers um, overlap more and more down here, the pattern of the stripes is gonna change a little bit. So here I'm gonna kind of go up on an angle like that, okay? Uh, and these maybe I'm gonna go in this direction. Okay, so just notice, I'm gonna do it in fast motion, but you can notice, uh, watch how I, I do, do these stripes. Going to do some detail work on the face and again if we look at the reference picture you can see that around the eye and the beak there's a lot of um i would call it almost like a salmon color around his eye a little little bit of a peachy um salmon color and then of course there's the gray too around the eye so um, basically I'm just, I would outline the eye with an ultra fine tip marker. I'm gonna uh, make sure that I leave a um, spot of reflected light there. I don't think I left enough. In fact, I didn't uh, leave enough light in this eye. It kind of got filled in with marker. So you know what I could do is, of course, if you have a gel pen or something, you can kind of go ahead and put that little spot back in. But um, here I made sure to leave enough room. And then I might even go around it a little bit more delicately with just some wavy lines. Wavy lines with this ultra fine tip marker. And I want to outline the beak. And I'm actually outlining the whole bird here while I'm at it. Okay, and um, so now I'm going to add some of that kind of, uh, like I said, it's kind of a peachy, pinky salmon color maybe. Just a little bit, very subtly. Now I have some pencil there still, and that's fine, because I'm gonna use some pencil too to add that gray. So this is just like graphite pencil that's on my blending tool. So I'm just kind of adding some shading, some shadow, very soft. I didn't even use my pencil. I just used the the, uh, the graphite that was on my blending tool, right? That's about all I needed. I'm gonna erase these lines that I don't need. Okay. And I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna add some gray to his beak. I'm also gonna add a little bit of black. I mean, of course, no two birds are gonna be exactly the same. So each time you draw it, it's gonna be a little different and your, your woodpecker is gonna look different than mine, so that's totally fine because in real life, they are each unique, right? So I'm just adding a little bit of 
gray and black to the, the feet. I'm going to use my blending tool a little bit. You could even add a little bit of shadow in the feathers. And I think I want to add just a tiny bit more, maybe a little bit more red here. And I did notice in this picture, do you see like a little bit, a hint of yellow right here? I just noticed that there's maybe a tiny, tiny hint of yellow. So you could even do that. Maybe just keep it very subtle. I'm going to put a little bit more gray around his eye. Now, when I zoomed in really close, I noticed that it looked like the eye did have a little bit of brown to it. So, I mean, if you wanted to add a little bit of brown, you could rather than black. Um, or just have a little bit of both. Okay, so maybe a tiny bit of brown here. So there's my woodpecker and my red-bellied woodpecker. Again, if you find out why it's called red-bellied, because I don't see any red on his belly, <laughs> um, then you let me know. I would love to know. So, okay, of course I could spend more time on this, but uh, I'm gonna show you real quick how I did the tree, the tree bark. So, very simple, it might look complicated, but it's not. I'm just gonna draw, I'm gonna take my black colored pencil, I'm gonna use a lot of pressure. So I'm pressing hard, and I'm just gonna do Look, some crooked lines, crooked vertical lines all the way down. I'm being kind of, you know, jagged and crooked like this. Okay, you can also go back and turn some of these lines into letter Y's, okay? Like this, or letter V's, or see how I'm branching off like that on some of them? Again, keeping it very crooked. Some of them can go down like this. They're kind of branching off. Okay, once you do that, and you have enough that you're you're happy with. Um, see how thick those ridges are? They're not just thin lines. They're very thick, kind of deep ridges in the tree bark. So what I'm going to do next is using a lot of pressure, I'm just going to real quick and fast and loose fill in, making it thicker next to those lines. Okay, I'll put this on fast motion in a minute, but I just wanna show you my process slowly. Then after that, I'm gonna take like a dark brown and I'm gonna add some dark brown next to it. And at first I'm gonna press hard like that on both sides, but then I'm gonna let up the pressure and I'm gonna color very lightly. And then after I do that, I'm gonna layer, of course we always wanna layer colors, right? So you might wanna layer some of this lighter brown over it, kind of give it an orangey brown look. You know, you might wanna layer, um, you know, you might wanna layer some gray over it. There's gray. 
All right, so I'm gonna do that for a while and I'll put it on fast motion. So I'm sure you guys get the idea. Uh, when you're done with that, the last thing you can do, or one of the last things, is you can add some of these smaller detailed lines. So you'll notice like in the real photograph of the tree bark, there's actually a lot of um, smaller ridge lines. Some even go more horizontally. They don't all go vertically. So if you even just wanted to add some, you know, they're almost like cracks crack lines, um, just very jagged, some going maybe more horizontally, but not as, not as thick, not as dark, you know, you can just give it some more detail. So that's what I did here to kind of create that tree bark look. Um, one last thing too on the woodpecker, um, I'm going to do a little bit more shading on the beak and if again if you want to do it in colored pencil or if you want to add some graphite pencil like this maybe a little bit more around the eye um, I wanted to show you my erasing tool um, you may not be able to get one now while we're uh, kind of stuck at home for for several weeks or um, or so but uh, eventually when you get back out there and if you're at an art store you might consider uh, spending just a, a couple dollars on one of these this is a, an eraser but uh, it works like a pen and it's got a very small tip so it's really nice for like if I wanted to add some highlights See how I'm adding highlights by taking away some of the pencil that's already there with my little eraser. So um, I just want to show you this because this is a real nice tool to have and get into those really tiny places. Like let's say I wanted to put a highlight on his beak right there. It's small enough to get in there. So anyway, um, before I finish this, I would probably also add maybe a little bit of shadow, a little bit of dark, like darker black pencil along the edge here on the tree bark, maybe under his leg a little bit. That'll help him stand out maybe a little bit more too against the tree bark. So I think you guys get the idea. I would love to see your drawings when you're done. So hopefully you had fun drawing the red-bellied woodpecker. Um, I thought he was a beautiful bird, lots of cool detail. Um, if you're looking for more things to do, I encourage you to search online for some photographs of other species of uh, birds or look for um, illustrations from the uh, Birds of America book by John Audubon and uh, maybe do some sketches of those birds. So have a great week everyone.